Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's let me and finish try and let me see if I can try to get comfortable. I gotta keep remembering the monitor shows me the way you see you. Today we're going to talk about a topic that Michelle brought up. Michelle's case, her case manager, which is is saving money in the bank being selfish. <laughs> Some of you might be laughing. Uh, however. According to an article from uh, a place called LearnVest um, Research, and this is dated on um, July 9th, 2012. And the question was, does money make us mean? Well, we're talking about selfishness, not mean. Although, I guess sometimes people think... Anyway, let me just give you the, the first paragraph. It says here... A recent article in New York Magazine shed light on the con correlation between wealth and social skills. LearnVest covered some of the research in a few months ago, focusing on the relationship between wealth and empathy. We dissected some of the findings of a University of California at Berkeley researcher um, Paul Piff and his team that found that the wealthier you are, the less adept, adept you may be at reading emotions. Um, it goes on. I'm going to just give you a few paragraphs. Um, according to research, the more money a person has, the more he or she be behaves as if the world revolves around them. And the more self-centered the person is, the higher he ascends into society. On the other hand, on the spectrum, a person with lower income considers the feelings of others more and prefers to blend in with his peers than stand out. Um, that's tricky. That really is tricky because, okay, so Michelle asked her case manager was this, every time I try to save money, I feel like I'm being selfish. Of course you do. Because as a piece of the article points out, it's the selfish ones who get ahead. It's the selfish ones that hoard money. Um, it's the selfish ones that, unfortunately, according to dictionary.com and the Urban Dictionary, it explains that also the Marion Lipster Collegi Collegi Dictionary, limited edition, explains that a, self a selfish person has total dis has disregard for the needs of other people. So a question comes up is, is Michelle being selfish if she's trying to put money in the bank so she could save up to relocate to a better place? It's a cognitive dissonance because Michelle and I have talked about this and Michelle's case manager and we have tried to find a way to resolve this issue without upsetting people. And you know what? We haven't even figured it out yet. That's how much we're still working on it. But anyway, so let me just ask another question. Is leaving comments for people on YouTube a, a, a lack of selfish behavior? Or is le not leaving comments on YouTube a sign of selfish behavior? Well, that's an interesting question. Because Michelle and I have talked about a lot of different things, and I got a story for you. I'm not going to give any names because I don't think that this performing artist would be very thankful to hear my comments. This is my feelings about this person. On Google Plus, one of the people I follow is an artist. And her thumbnail is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. I don't know why she chose it as a profile picture. It is hideous. It is ugly as heck. I want to get on. I've thought about telling her straight out in a private message 
you got to change this picture. You look like a freak. But, I mean, I know me and Michelle don't always look that great either. But, you know, um, we're not really, you know, top of the line beautiful either. But this person really went out of the way to really look hideous. Okay? Um, it's not a matter of someone just a bad makeup job application. She had put the makeup on the way she did specifically to revolt people. And, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if I should tell her or not that I don't like her appearance, but, you know, um, so, I mean, I, I, I thought about it, but at the same time, I realized is that, like a lot of artists, you know, she's very self, she's very, very self-conscious of her image, and I don't think that it would be fair for two public personalities to go out there and talk about how the other one looks because um, it might cause, you know, a rift between me and my fans and her fans. And I don't want to see that happen. Um, I just really wish you could maybe find a better profile thumbnail that you could put up on your Google Plus account that doesn't make me basically want to go ahead and just, you know, turn my head the other way. It's just, it's just a, such a deplorable picture. Um, but, you know, I, Michelle has looked at it and she said to me is, well, it would make sense to just keep my mouth shut only because it might upset her. And I don't think you want to do that. She's well known and she's well liked as a performing artist. And many performing artists, um, you know, they're, I mean, they have thin skin and they don't tend to um, respond well to criticism. So, and she said, besides, if you look at our videos, I mean, even our own images, I mean, we have, we're thin skin too. I mean, so, you know, Michelle can criticizes the way we look in the camera so much, you'd be surprised that my other better half, my other half could sit there and pick us apart on occasion. Like today's video she did earlier, Dame's Doomsday Castle episode too. She thought about not putting it up on YouTube only because she didn't put any makeup on this morning and you could see the skin imperfections. And um, finally after she watched the video, um, after she had taken a nap, she realized it really was not a bad video. So she put it up anyway. And um, because there was nothing really wrong with it. It was just, um, Mich Michelle just didn't like the way she looked in camera. And so she was willing to throw away many hours of, I mean, many minutes of video, not hours, but many vid minutes of good video because of her face's appearance. So obviously this other lady, um, as far as the other lady's concerned is, you know, Hey, this is the way I want to. This is the way I want to put my makeup on, you know. But she's very self-conscious. So if somebody start out there and start saying, you know, look, you're uglier than a bus after it got into a car accident. I mean, this individual rightfully would be very upset, and I don't uh, disagree with Michelle on that. But like this article points out, is if saving money in the bank means that you're moving up in the social circles to the deluxe financial department in the sky, right? Ah, uh -huh. yeah, but if that means you're basically, how can you solve this without screwing up everything else you got? There's got to be some way to do it. There has to be. Leave your comment below if you have any suggestions. Okay, I really could use them. So just put your comment whoop, right down there and me and Michelle will uh, see what we can do for the future to address your answers. If you want to send us private messages, I don't care if the love letters or hate letters. I want to hear from you. I really do. So just get out your computer, get on, get on the word processor. If you want to send me a poison pen letter, that's fine. I, I can deal with those. You just, the point is, is I want to hear from you. I want you to talk to us. And maybe you can help us figure out 
Where is the happy medium between saving money and not appearing to be selfish? So, that's it. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.